All right, moving on. We'll, yep. we'll keep moving here. Uh, next up was Cap City, which was like the exact opposite. God. Dichotomy of what Connexus <laughs> was. Uh, There's a lot going show on. Show title, show. Mother, uh, about like lions and protecting and uh, I guess like a lioness and her tribe and cubs and this and that. Uh, super aggressive show. Um, I made, I, I did put it in the question on instagram like where's the baby like i need to see i need to see like a baby then where's there's a yeah, mother what are you... i need to see i need to see the baby that's what um, i told you 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 asked me before that show because you were somebody that was involved in teaching that group for a while you said i want i don't want to tell you anything i want your honest opinion as you watch this on your first read and yeah. the, a couple things that i said were holy shit there's a lot going on right now at, at every moment of the show like a lot of people on the floor a lot of props on the floor, a shitload of notes being played. Pardon my French. It's yeah. a lot. The whole thing is just a lot, and it's it's hard to know what should I be looking at. And then all of a sudden, the dark lions, like the evil lions, show up, and I'm like, am I looking at the drumming that's going nuts over here on the left, or am I supposed to look at what's going on with the visual ensemble? And I looked at you at one point, and I was kind of just like, what are they protecting? I just see two groups of lions fighting. It was kind of all I saw. Yeah. Um, it, there is a lot. I mean, they have 35 people on the tarp. Holy crap. Um, 10 snares, five quads, five bases, five cymbals, 10, 10 vision ensemble. Um, so there's a lot of people on there and they also have a lot of props. These, these would be my two biggest critiques. Uh, so if anybody on staff's watching it, you can thank me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> uh, if there's a way, I would expand the props out away from mm -hmm. the floor. Open it like, up a little hopefully bit. Open it, hoping like let it breathe and create some more negative space. Um, I think that would also help the color palette because like the uniforms are a little bit similar to the tarp. And then some of the stuff that the front ensemble is doing, like they have like these wood blocks and stuff. Like it sounds like it would be cool, but it's also just like it makes it thick uh like it's a very dense like battery book already because it's so mm -hmm. aggressive and so they fast. play a lot and of like, notes and like a couple that notes. and like couple that with uh some of the stuff like accessory things in the front it, it gets a little overwhelming um but i do like <laughs> that they are actually playing notes yes uh, too yes. many times I've gotten on here and critique people's like, all right, where is the beef? Like, where? Like, give me more. And they are definitely not lacking in that department. No. Um, because at some point, like, oh, people are saying, like, less is more, less is more. It's like, well, you know what? Sometimes less is just less. <laughs> yeah. So. 100%. They are definitely not giving you less, which I appreciate. No. But I, th I think they definitely have some, some room to thin out things to make it more transparent and digestible on a first read yeah yeah no it's it's a lot a lot i liked the book the battery writing is cool it's fast there's show there's a lot of chunks that are really fast run and gun high difficulty drumming their butts off but can we take this opportunity because they have 10 snares correct yeah everybody Let's, got everybody got horny for 10 snares this yeah, year yeah i mean geez let's take this like let's pause the analysis of the groups we watch from the indie regional and just like this is something you and i discussed after the regional was over it's like this is the year of six bass drums 10 snare it's like it's almost like the year break it's like oh we have enough good players like let's just go big or go home and it's like no just don't there's a lot of six man bass lines and right. a lot of 10 man snare lines which you and i were in a 10 man snare line it's not easy to clean. it's not uh, easy to clean at all um in six bases like one of the boomiest instruments in the in the whole room it's like let's add another one like oof okay it's a lot um, i mean I, I get you have a lot of talent but you know evan and i were talking about this little tangent here earlier on the phone just that just because you can doesn't mean you have to and i will point out that like yes you as a staff you're like yeah they're all good enough like let's just go 10 screw it or go six or six quads or five quads whatever but indoor is a boomy environment yeah ud arena is kind of dry when you're on the floor drumming but 
indoor lends itself to smaller drum lines in my opinion and i, I don't i hope that's not a super bold statement i know i i know i've Dude, heard it's people not, it's physics yeah <laughs> it just makes sense and so we've talked about on here a lot that the activity is getting rcc better. one was seven snares that's four quads and four bases literally where i was going well the four bases was you think somebody was hurt but yeah but, but you think anybody in the judging panel was like i'm gonna dock some points because you only got seven snares uh, no, no, not at they all. They're going to go, that phrase was immaculate. Kudos. And, and we kind of talked about this on the phone a little bit earlier, and you brought it up. Like, if you have, like, ten dudes in your audition room that can bang, guess what? So does everybody else in world class. Yep. Nowadays. It's not like, it's, you're not, like, out-talenting people. Like, for, for a, like, in the top 15, like, everybody's got dudes that can play. Uh, yep. But just do yourself a favor. Go eight. And be like, sorry, guys, is, just, just cut them. And then the, then that talent just filters out to other groups, yes, and it just makes the activity better. That's where I'm I going. I think you said yes. that earlier. I did, and I'm going to elaborate on that for a second because we've talked about on here a lot of times. The activity is growing like crazy. There's like the number of people, guys, girls, kids, young adults, whatever, involved now is higher than it's ever been, in my opinion, especially in WGI. And as a result of that, you have these for historically we've had four main groups you had a fifth one added when broken cities come up they're in that top tier we've talked about on here and reiterated a lot the middle of the pack groups have gotten so much better and the reason is there's more people you've got a higher volume of quality players in your front ensembles and in your batteries and just because you are a rhythm x or a top 10 finalist group or whatever you might have the talent, but there's, that's going to be the case every year from here on out as the activity continues to grow. The number of extremely talented people is going to increase. So as a result, you only need eight snares in Rhythm X. Nine if it's amazing or whatever visual requirements you have or RCC or Broken City or whatever or MCM, etc. If you cut those last two, they're going to go to their local 11th place group or your fourth walls or your veritases or your freedom or whatever and it's going to raise everybody up and as the number of amazing players increases as the activity continues to grow and grow and grow x could go 10 snares every year broken city could go 10 11 snares every year it's just going to be the way it is and you're going to have to cut really good players in every section but they're going to trickle down and it's going to become more and more competitive more and more entertaining as an audience member like holy crap how did this group beat that group it's going to be way more enjoyable to watch so go that's smaller not, that's not even just a statement for the battery too like how many groups have i seen this year have like six marimbas i'm like a lot Dude, five seems like a lot to me. Yep. Like, go four. Like, it's about clarity. Yep. It's about level of playing well together. Level of I, achievement. I've never written a forefront ensemble. I've never like been in a front ensemble. So I'm not sure what sort of arranging six would allow you to do that four wouldn't. I know that obviously people like to split parts these days. They like to do different things with different chords and different just but still like Six, five, like that's a lot of freaking wood. And that's a <laughs> lot of space too. When you're talking about six, five vibes, like how spread out they are. You want the dude on the far left side one to play their instrument at the same time as the dude on far or the girl or chick or whoever, the the member, the player on far right side two to play the instrument at the same time. Like that's a lot of freaking space to cover. Yep. And so just, again, to reiterate, just because you can does not mean you have to. And there's so many six-person bass lines. There, there's multiple 10-man snare lines. Like, And that competition to get those eight spots, seven spots, nine spots is going to make it even, even better for the quality of member and the preparation level and and the drive it's going to put. Humans are competitive animals. Like, we How are the hell they even fit all that stuff on the equipment truck? That, well, yeah, that's logistically speaking, yeah. <laughs> It's all these props and stuff. That's so we went on a massive tangent there. That was something <laughs> yeah, was, uh, him but, and I pointed that out multiple times. It's like, why? Why did you go ten? Like, why not be even yeah. cleaner at eight and let those other two people you cut go to the next group? 
and then they're that much better, and the activity's more competitive. On Pearl Snares, that's an extra 16 set of guts. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, moving all right, let's on. Move on. Uh, next up would be Music City Mystique. Come hell or high water, which um, you I have. Did it. Yeah, dude, I, I actually like this show. Um, I don't dislike it. Let's put it that way. I don't want to say actually, like I haven't ever liked a show of theirs before, but I like that this is a different vibe from them. I will Um, give you that. They kind of stepped out of their, I don't want to say what they normally do, but their normal feel of shows. A lot of times it's kind of like dark, um, gritty feeling. This one's like, yeah, very tribal. Dude, this one's like light. It's fun. Um, And it was like watching the stream, the first like true clarity it was it was like yeah. unmistakable it's like oh yeah we got to that upper tier like that yeah. was yeah we are we are in we a were new watching the stream and we were like oh things sound good like but like i can't tell if it's the the audio recording and then like the first mcm snare i think came out we just looked at each other and we're like okay yeah yeah yep there it is here we are the audio quality is good enough this we've we've reached a new level of clarity and they're one of the top five groups every year for a reason. They they play extremely well. They work their butts off. The shows are well designed. They've got it figured out. And I will agree with you. I like the show. But on this is a personal thing only. I don't think it's going to get docked competitively for this. I don't think this is a bad design choice on their end for my personal preference. It's, too, it's a little campy. Like, it, I get it. Now, there's probably some underlying meeting, which honestly you could give them kudos for from a design standpoint in the sense that there's a surface level that anyone can watch and go, oh, I get it. I can grasp the theme. I can grasp the motifs, the uniforms. The It all makes sense. They have the washboard feature where the guy's on sitting on a woodblock or stool or whatever playing a washboard and they have the harmonicas. Uh, yeah, like a hand percussion moment or whatever and – I get it. I can watch it and understand the surface level. I don't know what the underlying meanings of everything are because I think we've been hinted at through Instagram messages. There is more to it than that, right? Uh, probably. And then I know it's not. It doesn't feel finished. Uh, no. Uh, I, I don't think. I think they have more to add on. Plus, I'm, like everybody does, more to fill in. Um, I do agree. It does get a little like lull in it's the middle there. It's not my cup of tea, um, is what the I moral did of think what that, I was saying. I do think that that show presents itself to a lot of choreography that they did that's very thematic. Like, mm-hmm. Sometimes you see groups do choreography and they're just, they're doing choreography or body. They, just to do they're, it. They're checking the boxes. Yes. yes. Um, but they, they're doing choreography. It's like, oh, it's simultane- simultaneous responsibility, but also it's thematic. I get it. It's kind of like the hokey hoedown. Like, it makes sense. So Yeah. Like I said, the surface level is impossible to miss. They play well, and I will say I we we know the guy that runs Drumline AV, the YouTube channel, a lot of lot videos. The Mystique yeah, lot the stuff is not out yet as we record this, but my take was, and the scores I feel like reflected this because X beat Mystique both days in Indy. I I think X's book is a lot harder. And we'll get to X here in a minute, but Mystique to me typically has on average an easier book than some of the other top groups. Am I, is that a crazy statement to make you think from a uh, battery, battery, from a battery, battery yes. standpoint? Front ensemble, no. No, yeah, not front ensemble. Um, I'm talking about the drum line. And I won't say that's the case every year, but in generalities, I would agree. Yes. On average, I, <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we're for sure. Uh, you can say we're biased. We'll be able to get X. some more. I mean, we'll be able to get some more in depth. I know that Evan said that um, the X and MCM stuff would be coming out in a couple on days. Thursday. Yeah. Um. So look out for Drumline AV Thursday. New Rhythm X, New MCM. And that and that indie regional it. of Mystique was my first read. So my initial impressions was I get the surface level. I understand what they're doing. I think it's effective. I think it's super well designed. They're clean, just like all the top five are at this point, for the most part. And we'll get into the top five a little more here soon in predictions. But I get why X beat them both days. Both days. Yeah, for sure. And I think X's content is uh, – they're playing well, but the content is carrying them. I think that's why you 
there's a pretty significant gap yeah. between those two. And let's go um, ahead and move on to X here. Just uh, well, you skipped over moving. Veritas. Oh crap! You're right. Um, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately for Veritas and Prelims, they got sandwiched in between MC Brutal. and MX. Brutal. Uh, show title: The Art of This. Um, I don't know what it was. The art of. Um, they got some like props that they roll around in. It's entertaining. Uh, they're playing a lot of notes. Uh, I'll give it that. Some of it's hit. It's some of it's hitting. Some of it's not. Um, so I don't know. I didn't. It is what it is. It I didn't really like understand what it was about. It just seemed like a show. So, I didn't yeah. get a whole lot out of it. Um, they had the massive disadvantage, of, like you said. Of, I mean, we looked at the the lineup and the like the order of groups for Independent World, and I just looked at you and went, "I would hate to be Veritas because you have to follow Mystique." And then I thought it was a good thing that X followed Veritas because the judges were going to see Mystique, then hear a lesser group, no hate, just the facts, a lesser group from an achievement standpoint or potential. And then you've got X coming out, and it's like Veritas just got super hosed in that prelims draw. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's all I got on that. Um, So we will move on to Rhythm X. Um, The show is called Art shaped box i like it a lot yeah (laughs) like whatever everybody's gonna say we're biased but i don't really give a shit i was getting ready to say Um, like oh shocker the two rhythm x alums like i (laughs) show but i will i will challenge you go back to some of our older episodes from the last three or four years we will we've always i feel like been honest and we've said like yeah this x show is not very good like what was the show was it 19 or 18 that you and i were not fans of the Alinea show. Yeah. Uh, about the restaurant. Yeah. yeah not the music yeah. was cool, but the show itself, I was just like, eh. Yeah. Um, so I really love the color palette. Um, yes. The kind of grayscale tarp. They have the shadow boxes that they use, and, and the neon colors in the uniform really do this show a great service yes. coming out of those. Um, if I w- hope they add one thing to those shadow boxes – it would be like a spotlight on the top of it that really mm-hmm. kind of silhouettes from the top down. Yeah, uh, I don't know if they're gonna do that, but if they do, I'll take credit for it. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Um, they... <laughs> but it's they probably had the, by far the best battery of the day, easily. Um, content and, and it might have been a little not perfectly as clean as Mystique, but the content I think lifted them over them. And if I don't know. They're, it was pretty. I saw some other videos that were pretty. It's pretty good right now. Yeah, like, they're, I would they're say good. it's on par and they're it's good. harder. Um, I think the one thing that I do like about this that I also like about GMU that I'll talk about later is is they don't do visuals just to do visuals, and we'll get mm-hmm. on this tangent probably after we talk about them. But there's one point where it's a, a front ensemble moment, and they just leave one symbol player out there, and he's doing just like the symbol tricks, the tosses, the like right to left hand exchange and it's just it's entertaining without like having to be forced com- compulsory i yeah. guess there were so many groups that performed that we watched and other shows that we've watched not from just the indie regional and and this is a good time to talk about this idea is why a oh why has indoor drumline gotten to a point where oh it's the pit moment or the ballad, if you want to call it that, or whatever terminology you want to give it. We have to have the battery put their drums down and do become a winter guard with no equipment and do like mediocre or ballet. ballet or dance. And it's like, what what are we doing? This is seems unnecessary. Yeah, that was one thing that I I just made an overarching note after watching a lot of shows high school open class world class scholastic it, it doesn't matter it just feels like people are trying to check a box like oh i have to exactly. do this thing and i just don't think that i don't think that we do i don't i don't think that the activity no. needs that nope. i hate it I, it's because probably it's that good. i would imagine for the members it's probably the least uh the part of the show they look the least forward to like doing body like i love doing body like body work while i'm drumming choreography always mm-hmm. loved that but mm-hmm. i'm glad and i know we talked about this that i did not reach the era where i had to like take my drum off and do be like, a dancer 
become a dancer. dancer. Because the reality is none of the people or most of the people in those ensembles are not tr- dancers. They have no dance training, like formally speaking. And yeah, it's some like, of the people that judge like visual effect and visual performance are like guard people or they judge WGI guard. And I couldn't imagine that they're like just in a, like cringing sometimes like this, it's this never good. Do this. It's well, not a lot never. of times you have a carrier it's, on that you yeah, can't get off. Or, it's like, awkward. It's just like, Stop. I, I hope that we get away from that. Like, and there are some groups that aren't buying into that because everyone that I saw do it just like, oh, well, here, they're going to check their box, like you said earlier, and it's not going to be that clean because they're not trained in that. They don't have the muscle control. They don't have the years of ballet that some of these winter guards do, and maybe we're being ignorant right now, but it just seems unnecessary and forced. I don't think it's ignorant. It's my my opinion. It's your opinion. Like, it is what it is. Like, if the – I mean, the people in the design staffs are the one going into critiques, like – you all would be the one to tell us, like, are the judges being like, oh, I wish you did more uh, chasses across the floor with uh, that Ron Jean and, like, blah, blah, blah. Or are they just like, you guys don't really have to do that to to get the credit. Yeah, you, don't, so, you don't need to worry about it. And and I don't think I don't think you do. Like, if you take it away and just remove everyone from the floor, it's like, so, so to go back to that Rhythm X moment, take everybody away. If you're doing something that is engaging or generally effective – as long as it's a moment that doesn't carry on too long and you've paced it out well and it's not a bad transition of a show, then, like, fine. I don't need to see yeah. 20 people out there doing push-ups. <laughs> I mean, Mystique did it in 2010 with that Fantastique show. They had multiple moments where they were front ensemble moments and there was, like, one, maybe two battery members on the floor. Cymbal player or a snare drummer, whatever. You don't have to have this, like oh, we're going to roll on the floor and, like, take our care. It's just, I'm not a fan. Maybe call me a boomer. I don't care. That's just my my take on it. It seems forced. It's never that clean. Why? Yeah. I. Yep, I agree. I'm I'm here for it. Before we move on from X and move into our last little segment of this, and I feel like like we're, like, run-on sentencing, like, just – word vomiting going from topic to topic so i'm excited to take a deep breath here (sighs) all right let's let's pace this a little bit chill we're not going anywhere so we've had a lot of pent-up energy stored up we've been him and i have been evan and i've been talking for texting like dude i'm gonna say this we're just gonna open up so and we're gonna get into the predictions and who's better than who here in a minute but the last thing i'll say about rhythm x is one of the main things i noticed and Fairbanks, Tim Fairbanks is the visual guy that writes the drill and stuff at X. And he, X this year especially, the they do the full battery moment better than anyone this season so far that I've seen. The full battery where it's a full snares, quads, cymbals, bases, and front. Like, visually, it's clean. The forms are always easy to read from a high level. You have some body intricacy. They move together. They're good, high-level performers. They're going to march well. They're going to look good moving across the floor. Simple. It's simple, big forms while in full battery moments with the right accents or sprinkles on top of the Sunday of body. I think X does that this year better than anyone. Now, granted, a lot of the body that groups do is going to be done in the lot. So I've seen some of Pulse's body. I've seen some... I haven't seen some of the West Coast groups on the floor. We're going to watch that regional here soon. I, I just think Tim Fairbanks and, and just the design staff of X hit the nail on the head this year with the full battery moment because there's a couple of them in that show, and you're just like, yes, that's the right – the music is good. It's played well. It's difficult. The The visual package of what they're doing right there, just simple forms. I don't know. It just was like chef's kiss. It just like spoke to me very well. Yeah, I would echo that for like the the top tier groups. Uh, Rhythm X does that well. Those top tier groups, they just do a great job of drawing your eye to what they want you to look at and what they want you to listen to. And the stuff that's on the other side of the floor just kind of fades away into the background. Yeah, and they might not even be doing anything. They just may be sitting there on a knee. You don't yep. even know. Like they're not yep. doing. They're not doing anything extra. They're an action piece. Chilling. But you don't you don't notice because like your your eye has like made its way to side two where it's supposed to be or side I mean whatever the case may be. So 
Yeah.